As you know, AFN Pacific has gone to a new satellite. Now what does that mean to you? It means you'll need to realign your dish and change the settings in your receiver. We'll take you through that step by step. Do a quick check at the myafn.net website and click on the realignment logo to make sure you still have the right size dish. In some cases, it may have changed. Before you begin, make sure you check with your landlord and make sure it's okay to move the dish. And let's talk about safety. Don't get a rickety ladder or a chair from the kitchen and try to do something like this. Have good equipment. Also weather. If it's raining outside, don't want to do this. Nighttime, nope. You want to do this during the day and you want to have good weather. Also look for power lines. Careful about all that stuff. We don't want anything to happen to you. We love our audience, so please be safe. First, you'll need some tools. Screwdrivers, wrench, and compass. Now, if you don't have a compass, you can download a compass app on your Android or iPhone. Using the app is highly suggested because you won't have any magnetic interference as you would with the compass. You'll need a magic marker such as a Sharpie. I used a red one. Download and print a copy of the PDF from myafn.net explaining the settings for your receiver model and dish orientation. To get the signal, you'll be required to perform four actions. One, you'll need to change the settings in your receiver. Two, you must adjust the L and B. Three, you must move the dish vertically for correct elevation. And four, you must move the dish horizontally according to the azimuth. To do this, check the aiming guide on your PDF. If your location is not covered, you'll need to use a dish pointing utility, such as dishpointer.com. And this is highly recommended. The PDF file will have the web address. Before we actually move the dish, there's something important that we must do, and that is to mark the position of all the components that are going to move. That way, if something goes wrong or you have a problem, you can move everything back to the original position and still receive AFN. At that point, you may want to consider hiring a professional or trying again. Now you want to take your marker. You'll draw a straight line from the L and B straight through the L and B clamp. That L and B is the cone-shaped part on the front of your dish. Now draw a vertical line from the mount onto the pole holding the dish hardware, just like this. For the elevation, you're going to mark the degrees indicated on the tilt bracket of the dish hardware. So just draw a straight line. Once all of these have been marked, you can now adjust your satellite system. And now, it's time to move the dish. The directions from the PDF or the website will tell you to turn the L and B either clockwise or counterclockwise. That's why you have to be facing the right direction, and that is away from the dish as I am now. Then you'll make the adjustment to the correct numerical value. Next, you'll adjust the elevation. Now this is the vertical movement. On the side of the mount holding the dish to the pole, you'll see numbers indicating degrees of elevation. Loosen the bolts that allow for up and down tilt of the dish and adjust the dish to the approximate correct elevation on your PDF or notes from your website. Retighten the bolts just enough to hold the dish in place. You may need to slightly move it later for fine tuning the dish. Now we're going to move the dish horizontally. We're going to use the azimuth that was given to us on the PDF or on the website. If you're not familiar with how to use a compass, you can find a tutorial online. Same thing for your app on your phone. So we're going to stand either directly in front of or behind the satellite dish and pole. From this point, we're going to take the number that we're given, the azimuth, we're going to hold the compass and turn to the azimuth that we were given. And there it is. Now, looking out, you want to find a landmark. It could be a tree, it could be a building, it could be a car. It's something that's straight in front of you. And that's how we orient the dish. Now it's time to make the horizontal move to the correct azimuth. Make sure the bolts in the back are loosened so you can turn the dish. Now your helper inside should be on the setup menu. And now we're going to move the dish to the landmark that we spotted earlier. There we are. Now we're pointing toward the landmark. Now the person inside goes to work. They'll be looking at signal quality and signal level. Slowly move the dish toward the landmark even more. 
The person inside should tell you if they're seeing a stronger signal. Yes, they're getting a stronger signal. Continue very slowly moving the dish. They see increased signal level and signal quality. Continue to move it. Now the person inside sees decreased signal level and signal quality. So slowly move it back to the position that you were at before, slowly. Now the person inside says that they have maximum signal level and signal quality. Don't worry about making it 100%. Just get it as strong as you can. Okay, we're getting there, right? This is the last move. We're going to adjust the elevation. We're going to fine tune it. Once again, our person inside is going to tell us whether the signal strength is stronger or weaker. I'm going to move it very slowly as we elevate. The signal strength is stronger. It's stronger still. Now it's become weaker. I'm going to move it back down until it becomes stronger. My person inside has said it is maximized. At this point, you can go ahead tighten up all the bolts and make sure everything is secure. Okay, now you've got a great signal and you've got signal lock. Get out of the setup menu and go to regular programming. Go to DOD News, it's in the clear, you should be able to see it just fine. Also check your other services. If you can see those, you're good to go. But if you can't, it's a registration problem, you'll need to call the help desk, that's on the website. But what if there was a problem? Well. You've marked all the positions for the components on the satellite dish so you can bring that all back. And you need to reset the settings in your receiver to the original ones. And you can also now call the AFN help desk for further information. You can either try to do this again yourself or you can hire a professional. Either way, we still want you to continue to watch AFN.